pretty. And what do you think of being in a house? She's like, oh my God, there's a new corner to discover. Yeah. See ya. Hey there, everyone. We wanted to bring you a quick real-time update with what's going on in our lives right now because it's pretty major and I definitely want to start covering it more in social media before the videos catch up to it because it's kind of a momentous thing. I've been dropping some hints and if you can see from the background, we're not on Elements anymore. Yeah. That's because we are currently homeless. We sold her. Boatless. And yesterday we handed her over to her new owner. Uh, was I supposed to cheer to you? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, gosh, where to start? Yeah, so, it's a, uh, yeah, we're, this is the first time in eight years we don't have a boat to live on. Correct. Ugh. Yeah. Ever since we left Michigan in 2012, we've been on a boat during the refit of Elements. We were living aboard, so this is the first time we have not been living on a boat in quite some time. It's a little strange. Very strange Right already. now we're kind yeah. of like couch surfing. We're at our friend Walter's house uh, just outside of Plymouth. I think you've seen him in a few previous videos. Very kind of him and his wife Martina to put us up for a few nights before we head to the greater London area for a few more days before we fly home to the US. Uh, but we'll give a quick rundown yeah. of what has happened to lead to this and what's coming next. Uh, when we were in the Isles of Scilly, we started started getting messages. We received a message. Um, it was actually from a new patron of ours who said that he saw our boat tour video. He was very interested in it. It looked like the kind of boat he wanted to take to high latitudes eventually, and he was okay without seeing it in person. Because if you remember our last kind of real-time update video, we were a little bit stressed that we, um, we couldn't sell her here in the UK or it would be harder to because the people that we were aiming towards, Americans, Canadians, Australians, were gonna have issues flying in because of travel restrictions and quarantines. Yep. And she was not CE certified, so anybody that wanted to register her in the EU or in the UK was not, not allowed to do that. Yeah. So, so. We, we did look into shipping elements back to the US um, to be able to sell her. And we looked at a few other options. And what kind of, kind of we finally came down to is the, the plan was to put her in storage uh, here in the UK, fly out, and in eight months or nine months, next spring basically, fly back here and then sail her back to the US to sell. Um, very thankful that it didn't, didn't come, come down back. to that. I mean, it would have been very cool to be able to sail her back to the US. But uh, yeah, this eliminates all that stress. Yep, and we were running up on our visas anyway. When we arrived back to the UK from Tenerife in the winter, um, it was gonna give us to about mid-August. And so we were kind of wondering what to do. And the UK kind of did a, a just big bundle. Like yep. if your visa was going to expire in July or August, we're giving you until August 31st to get out. So pretty much so, we we're going to like run it to the end. <laughs> so it was nice of them to extend it at least a little bit past what they had to do. Um, and so it was, it was so, gave yeah. us a little bit more of a cushion here um, to be able to get the final things done and get yeah. things done. So we were out. thinking that the idea was going to be that we were going to put her up in storage, fly back to the States, come back to her next year and work on getting her back to the United States where we could hopefully sell her, but this awesome Frenchman, Bryce, that was interested in her, we had a, a great relationship over emails, kind of went back and forth all the time. Um, he found out that he could register her in the Isle of Jersey, which is actually where she was registered when we purchased her. Yeah. Um, he's, he's French, but he lives in Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. So it, he avoids that whole issue of residency in the EU. He actually lives outside the EU. So thankfully for us, he took on the load of research, mostly figuring out what he needed to do <laughs> to take possession of the boat, to I register it, out. Yeah, to yeah. insure it. Um, so he would just kind of like daily tell us what he figured out. And through that, we it wasn't that he didn't think the boat was great. We did end up having a survey just because it was going to be necessary for him to register. So. And he did a tonnage survey and then we opted to do a structural survey and check out a few other things, which obviously makes complete sense when you're already going through those steps of the process. Yeah, so yeah. we were again in the Isles of Scilly when we kind of started talking about this. And so um, we had him look into the Falmouth area. It was close to where we were. Of course, it has a great community of marinas and yards and surveyors so we set something up there 
and um, yeah, they took her for the survey, came back, said everything looks good, and so he said, I'm ready to take it. He had already, at this point, booked his tickets to the UK because he's like, I know, this is my boat. You yeah, know? it was a, a huge leap of faith for him. Um, it's just, yeah, going to be a very exciting time for him to be living aboard a boat and start that whole process. And you know, it's going to be fun watching how that all plays out. Yep. So then once the survey came back and he said, cool, yep, let's do this. We signed the bill of sale. And from that point, had about 10 days or so until he arrived. And of course, this huge storm, these storms, Multiple storms came <laughs> have been through. coming yeah. through, which means the marinas were chock a blocked, is what they told me. So we ended up taking her up the Fowl River uh, in Falmouth and anchoring out. So it was a little bit of a mad rush. We were able to get her back to a dock 48 hours before we handed her over. We were packing. We were trying to ship things home. <laughs> we had boxes. You couldn't even walk around inside the boat because, of course, we couldn't put them outside or store them anywhere. We were at anchor. So boxes. Georgie was mad at us because there was no room for her to walk. And, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, things were pretty hectic. I didn't actually take the camera out as much as I should. I maybe got a few stills that we'll have to show. But, I mean, it was just like a week of chaos. And then we got Me to with the a dock. sad, frowning face the entire time and stressed uh, out know. yeah we were able to keep ourselves quite busy so then we were able to take our mind off the fact that we we're losing our baby mm. but the good news mm. is and we've handed her over yep we're flying back to the states and that means we can start the catamaran build this fall which again was the intent we just weren't sure if we we're still going to be owners of elements at the time so that's one less thing to worry about <laughs> works out works out perfect for our schedule i mean this was just like things I mean, are falling like right into place. Fell into place Perfect. just as it yep. should have. So we're flying from um, from London and landing in Phoenix. We're going to stay a few weeks with my parents. I'm sure they'll be very happy to have us crashing at <laughs> home again. Sure. <laughs> and then we are going to take a Chrysler Pacifica that I inherited from my grandfather. And we're going to in person check out a few sites that we have in mind for the build. Um, we've gotten some very nice offers. Yep, um, some some people had property or houses close to the water in the the areas that we we're kind of looking at. So we're going to go and scout those places out and see the kind of logistics of being able to bring the boat to the water once we build, and of course the structures to build in. Yeah. And then we have a few warehouses we kind of that somewhat fit within <laughs> our budget. So in case be nice to see them in person. Yep, we'll take a look at those and. So we'll be spending the later half of September scouting those out. By that time, hopefully our order will be in for the kit and there'll be much more to come on this, but we can tell you right now that we're down to two designs, the Shonen Arrow 1360 and a surprise contender <gasps> that nobody knows about except for our patrons. So if you are a patron, make sure to check out our last uh, live chat from last Tuesday. Yep. Um, we kind of go over it, show some renders. Um, otherwise, we'll be getting into that, I think, in the next like week or two. Yeah, we're waiting for the kind of the final renders, uh, you know, the real pretty ones, um, <laughs> those types of things, and some little bit, a little bit more information. It's a new boat, new design, um, and we'll kind of go over all those details. So we're down to that. Um, still very, very interested in the Shoning. Absolutely love that boat. Um, so that is still, they're kind of running neck and neck at this point. And, uh, but again, yeah, we'll go over all that in a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, so now I can finally start posting what's happening to us in real time on social media. We wanted to actually tell you first, but gosh, now the new adventure begins. Yeah, it really, this hasn't quite hit us yet. No, We've and if you're asking, so like, are you yep. super sad? It still feels like we're going back to her. This feels like just a quick trip away. Yeah, it I, hasn't, it hasn't sunk in yet. Even, even walking down the dock away from Elements, um, I'm sitting there talking to the new owner and talking to Jess. Didn't even <laughs> turn forgot around. To look back. Forgot to even look I back at it. I yes, looked back yes. at her. So it's uh, <laughs> my my last view of elements was just walking past it like it's i'm gonna see it again in 30 minutes and so he might be the one to burst into tears because he didn't get his proper good yeah time. i'm pretty sure there's yeah. gonna be tears flowing soon but so, uh we just need to yeah. calm down first so wish us luck as we get back to the states i think the biggest challenge is going to be traveling with georgie yes. she's going to be flying in in cabin with us on the flights she took a train yesterday from first time on a train Palmet she did great Plymouth. on it uh so we hope the flight is equally as good 
but trying to get a cat outside of the UK is not easy. It's hard to get them into the UK. <laughs> Flying with them out of the UK is it's even more difficult. Hard. Yeah, so, but we'll kind of go for that, those details okay. too. So stay tuned for updates, but in the meantime, cheers to Bryce and his new boat, SV Lebenskult. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay tuned.